So in 2023, I, I don't know, I have a very murky crystal ball, but here's what I think roughly uh, is that there's some smarter people out there than me and I read them. And one of them is Ray Dalio. One of them is Warren Buffett. And those guys are both basically saying, look, prepare yourself for what might happen in 2023. Ray Dalio is the best macro investor in the world. That is, he looks at the whole big picture, interest rates, all the things we never look at, and concludes certain things are gonna happen in the relatively short term. And what Dalio is saying about this next year is that the Federal Reserve isn't really gonna have much choice. They're painted into a corner. They're going to have to continue to keep rates high in order to keep inflation down and get it down to where they need it. And if that's the case, then the market is going to be reflecting that. It's going to reflect that by having certain industries not perform as well as the Wall Street guys think they will. And they're going to sell them. And when they do, we're sitting here waiting. The, the other guy, so that's Dalio. The other guy we really like to watch is Buffett. And Warren is in cash with about $110 billion. It's roughly two and a half times more cash than he's ever had in his life to hold on to, right? He's always found things to invest in. He's not finding much to invest in um, recently because of the, the values of the companies are well below the prices that this market is paying for them. So, okay, we'll just wait patiently with Buffett. And he's sitting there with 110 billion, we're sitting there with a lot of cash. We'll wait patiently. If indeed they keep interest rates high or make them higher, the market will start to stumble. Consumers will have less money to spend. Um, that means there'll be less jobs eventually. That means uh, there'll be less profits. And that means these company prices will start to come down. And a funny thing about the stock market that is really important that you understand is that it is not a really uber rational place. Like the Ivy League professors think the stock market is all rational. Right? I think these guys who graduate from Harvard would never sell something for $100 that's worth $200. They would just never do it. The fact is, the market is made up of humans, and even Harvard graduates are human, and therefore they're emotional, and therefore the market is emotional. And that little remarkable truism um, was at the basis for the research done by the guy who got the 2017 Nobel Prize in Economics. It's like proving that the market is emotional. And that means that this market will start to see a problem as things start to slow down. And when they see a problem, they can get scared, right? They've got all this money invested. They need to get it out, move it to bonds, move it somewhere else. And because they have so much money, they are the market. And if you are the market, it's very hard to get out. It's like trying to get out of a crowded theater after somebody shouts fire. Everybody's trying to go through one exit. <clears throat> so if you're having trouble getting out, that means, and you know you will, that means you need to be early. And so the market starts to, you know, they're gonna anticipate what's gonna happen, which creates fear. Now what Warren Buffett taught us is that we want to sell when the market's greedy, and we wanna buy when the market's fearful. So 2023 has a decent chance of having a fearful market. And when that happens, when that means is, as they get fearful, these guys are gonna sell this stuff off. They're gonna get freaked out and they're gonna sell all this stuff off. Now this happens regularly. And when it does, this economic storm starts to happen. It's going to rain gold for a little while. And our job is to be out there with the biggest dang bucket we can come up with, right? And we want you guys to think about that same thing. We want you to think, wow, 2023 could be one year that happens once every decade. And if that happens, it's the time to start creating generational wealth. So I, I think this is something that's gonna be a real, real interesting to see what happens. Do we invest expecting these things to happen and hoping they happen? No, we just wait patiently knowing what we want to buy and when it goes on sale because things happen we're there that's it for this week's video thanks for tuning in you guys if you're finding this content valuable please make sure to subscribe below for weekly educational content follow us on the rest of our social media platforms it's all linked down in the description